Kiss me, can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. Don't stop to diddle daddle. Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. My name is Reese Williams. Today I'm going to give you a crash course on a feature called Business Rules. Now, if you are in your database and from time to time you open a record that might be a board member or something, you will often get a pop-up warning like this. A constituent is a board member. Now, what I'm going to do in this quick lesson is teach you how you can actually design your own warning or alert for anything that you want to keep track of. For instance, right now, let's assume that you have a body of people in there that are part of a finance committee and that every time you opened one of their records, you would like the same sort of warning to happen as a board member. So in my sample database, as you notice, I'll go to Mark Adamson, I'll go to the Attributes tab, and you'll notice that he is a member of the Finance Committee. Now, in the future, if every time his or any Finance Committee member record is open, if I wanted a warning, I have the ability of building that into the system by going to this area here. Now, follow along with me. It's real quick and easy. If you go to Config, you'll notice this option called Business Rules. Do you see that? Click that. And then down here where you have these user defined rules area, right? This is where you can actually build in a new rule like this. So what I'm gonna say is a new opening constituent rule. Now what I have done is built a query in advance that basically grabs all the finance committee members. You'll need to have a query. Uh, let me back out just to show you what that looks like. So if I go look for any finance query, um, you'll see all finance committee members right there. Basically the query would be very simple. Constituent specific attribute committee description equals finance. Now if you wanted to have a warning pop open that says member of a committee, you can say committee description is not blank. Therefore, no matter what committee they're in, you'll still get the warning. But let's go back to this business rules. So I go back into config, I go to business rules, and under this user defined rules, I'm gonna create a new rule. And we will call it the Finance Committee Member Warning or Alert. We'll call it an alert. And now from the query name, basically you're finding anybody that would have matched that. So all Finance Committee members. And now we will put the message. Uh, this uh, person is a member of the Finance Committee. Do you see how this works? Now, once it's done, uh, we won't get into this area here, but you can, if you wanted to, only apply this rule to certain security groups. So if it's only volunteers or data entry, people that need to know this more specifically than seasoned staff, you can actually put it there. But we'll just leave it as uh, applies to everybody by not checking that. Now, when I say OK, the rule is in place. Now, if I go back to a record that actually is a member, you'll notice that when I open the record, it will automatically pop open with my alert. This person is a member of the Finance Committee. You see how that works? Well, that's your tip for the day. I hope that helped. And for all your training needs, check us out at RazorsEdgeForRookies.com.